Okay, well, hello everyone. Welcome to the Dev Q and A. Definitely organised. We're on time at least, which is better than eventers. Um, we're going to introduce ourselves and then we'll start answering questions, talking about season four, Rockets Please Rush, all that cool stuff, and then we're going to chat about the future of MC Island and what to expect next. But first off, hi, I'm Noctis. I'm your community manager. Um, I go by she/her, and yeah, I'm going to be mediating this lovely little chat. Uh, with me is she's your did lads. I'll uh, I'll go next. I'm I'm Noxite. I'm the CEO and founder of Nox Crew, and I will be well. I'll just be talking, really. Uh, you know, we got we got quite a bit of cool stuff to talk about, um, especially like what's coming in the next update. So anyway, I go by he slash him, and uh, happy to see you all. Uh, I'll go. Yeah, I'm Epic Landlord. I'm the game designer for the mini games on Island, and I do uh, music as well for the event. Uh, you could refer to me as he or him. Uh, I'll, I'll jump in next. My name's Kez. I'm the lead dev for MCC Island, and my pronouns are they, them. I'm Chase. I'm the lead designer for Island. Uh, I do everything that's not the mini games, and I am he, him. All right. Lovely. One sec. Can, positive, Cosmic God, can you get off the stage? Get Thank down. you. Thank you very much. Okay. Unfortunately, like, you're not going to hear me talk because I'm not going to go quiet so these lovely people can answer all your lovely questions. So if you do have a question, pop it in the chat. I'll be reviewing it, and so will they. And we'll just sit and answer it for a bit. So go for it. <clears throat> yeah, should we, do we want to start, actually? Let's focus some of the questions right now. We want to do questions surrounding, like, Season 4 and Rocket Spleef Rush's release. Like, well, anything that came out in the recent bunch of updates since we last did a dev Q&A, which was, like, months ago... Um, Almost so we'll, yeah, we'll be exactly looking for those questions to start. There we go. When Game Pass for RSR? Do you want to talk about that, Chase? Yes. All right. Um, so the Game Pass system that we have right now, we're not super happy with it. Hang on, let me pull up my notes on this. <laughs> Wasn't <laughs> expecting that question. So <laughs> read the essay. No, no, no that's, a, that's a separate essay. Okay, I have a separate thing for this. Okay, so the reason that RSR does not yet have game passes is because we have a planned kind of game pass update coming where we'll be overhauling that system. We kind of want to combine the badge system and the game pass system into this much more like fluid, effective system. What? Chase, you there? Chase? Chase? I think, I think we just crashed Chase with that server announcement. Please, Chase. Oh no! Um, he was he was enjoying the uh, the little announcement music too much. Yeah. Went all quiet. Yes, he enjoyed it. <laughs> did, you, did you see? Someone's already mentioned something in chat that we're going to be uh, talking about later. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. So, someone has already kind of guessed. You know what? I'm, I'm going to oh, shut yeah, up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Shush, shush. As I said, in the second half of this dev Q and A, we're going to be talking about what what the next update for MCC Island will have. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> just a tease. It's not a game, but it's something kind of maybe. Chase, are you back? Something else. Something. Your mic still isn't working, Chase. Oh, something no. surprising. It's not. It's not we gambling. Can't... Can you hear me now? Sorry to disappoint yeah, you. There you are. Bro. There you are. We can oh, hear you now, Chase. I have. I did nothing. It just started working and stopped working. Nothing changed. My headset was working fine. My mic was working fine. I could still hear. No idea what that was. It's Weird. not Skyblock either. <laughs> it's not Fortnite. That is such a bad guess. Oh my god. Not gambling. Prime update. That sounds fun. Anyway, Chase, do you want to? Yeah, go back to the beginning about um, Game Pass for Rockets Plea Rush. Okay, Chase, thank you very much. Uh, on to the next question. I think we lost Chase again. Can, can someone else maybe sort of answer the question? No. 
Is no, Chase silenced I mean, or, or silenced? Um, Chase is the best to give like the full details on it. Yeah. Which maybe we'll get back to that question. Let's hang that question to the side. That's exciting. When do we get Rocket Spleef Rush? Oh, God. There's so much trolls. Rocket Spleef Rush rolls. If there was Rocket Spleef Rush rolls on the Discord, what would they be? I think they mean just like the rolls. Like they we might... have one for the other games so that like... we can at, at people with them. Oh, right. Oh, right. Noctis, <laughs> See, I think they don't then. mean literally, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I do. But they do. Uh, they, they want Rocket's, mini rolls. They want Rocket Spleef Rush rolls on the Discord. <sighs> okay. I'll, I'll get that sorted. Rebranded right. Cadbury's mini rolls. Um, did you catch any? Does any, had anyone catch caught any good questions? <laughs> when does Maybe. RSR get added to the press files? <laughs> That's a great question. I will pester Alex. A lot of people. That's, that's a fun question there. Um, from it's your boy. Cruz, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, that says, uh, was there any inspiration for RSR or did the idea just pop up like, let's make a game about explosives? Uh, oh, that was a very, I, very I long this. time ago. I, I'm pretty sure it was your idea, that game, not? Yeah, 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 I remember this. Um, so Rocket's Belief Rush straight up came from uh, an inspiration of Spleef. Uh, I, I know, shocker. Um, the thing I loved about Spleef was just... It's actually because, all right, this goes back. Did anyone ever, is anyone old enough to have played like Halo 3? Halo 3 had this like game yes. mode in it, in the creative mode called Jenga. And just the like, <laughs> in a way, Dino Ball and Rocket Spleef Rush both sort of inspire from the Jenga game mode from Halo. Um, like, I really mm. loved the Jenga game mode, just the idea of like trying to stay on a platform. And obviously, like, Spleef is somewhat uh, an evolution of that. So um, when we were trying to come up with the base mini games to launch MCC with, we were like, oh, can we, let, can we do something that's related to just, like, you know, trying to stay on blocks, right? Sort of like Spleef, but how can we do something new with Spleef? And honestly, I don't remember yeah. how we came to the like idea of rockets or explosions, but it was it's kind of like if you're not deleting blocks with a shovel, then what are you deleting them with? And it feels like explosions are the obvious answer. So uh, that's how Rocket Spleef Rush... Yeah. Uh, sorry, that's how Rocket Spleef was born. And then Isaac, you're the one who came around and added the rush part to it. Yeah. And advance that, so you can talk but, about that. I don't know what inspired me for that, that to be honest. Um, but like, yeah, as you were saying, like we really wanted a, a Spleef game in the initial event. We thought like Spleef is like one of the most well-known Minecraft sort of like competitive game. We wanted to figure out how to do that somehow. I there must have been some sort of some sort of single-player game that I saw that had generating islands, and you were probably like. There's probably some FPS where you're moving around and just continuously moving whilst also shooting. Uh, I don't know. It, it just seemed like the way to make Rocket Spleef more exciting because without the island spawning, the game was quite stale an event. Uh, yeah, I, I really don't know. Yeah. But the... Um, it worked great. I don't know where the durability mechanic came either. But it really feels like now it's a really realized game. And it's it's quite unique. It's a very, very interesting game, Rocket Spleef Rush now. It almost feels like a game that could exist outside of Minecraft just as its own game, I feel, with the projectile like tracking and all the movement and all the strategy to it. It's really cool. Um, yeah, and I, I can confirm the first iteration of Rocket Spleef all the way back was awful. I remember the first test of it. It was the first game we ever did for MCC. <laughs> yeah, the first, actually. The first yeah, test. So. It was the first test we ever had for MCC. Yeah. Just rocket split. It was really bad and unfun, but we saw the light. We saw, we saw that it could be good. It was fun at the time because we were it was starting the project, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Next question. Let's move on from that one. 
Uh, Chase, are you back? I am back, hopefully. Do you want now want to talk about the Rockets? Yeah, yeah, lots I of people then, asking about the Rockets that. Leaf Rush Game Pass. Question. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so the answer to that question is that we want to do a Game Pass update and just kind of overhaul that system. Um, and any premium Game Pass you have now will, like, the value will 100% transfer into the new one, so you don't have to worry about that. But it didn't make a lot of sense for us to add a new RSR Game Passes when we really want to overhaul that system. It felt uh, kind of weird to us to do that. Um, but that new system will come and then it will make the Game Pass system feel a lot better. It'll no longer be finite. It'll actually have like uh, infinite progression, so to speak. Obviously, it'll still be finite in the sense that there will be only so many cosmetics to collect. There will be like, additional rewards beyond that. Um, so it should be a much better and much simpler system uh, that ends up being a lot more approachable. And we're also going to be kind of fusing badges into that system to make that kind of one completed thing. So a uh, bit, bit more to that that we're not going to leak, but when that system releases, that's when you'll see RSR game passes. Yeah, to, uh, just to be clear on that one, for the people asking, the it, it's about just improving the game pass system. So people who have already bought game passes or even thinking about buying them are not losing out on anything. Like your yeah, you'll be purchase fine. transfers over into the improvements. So yeah, there's no like. There's no advantage in, I don't know. Don't know what I want to say, actually. It just won't matter. You won't lose any value. <laughs> well, That's yeah, the easiest matter. way to put it. Yeah. You will get the full value of your purchase even in the new system. All right. Let's see. Let's move on to a new question. Oh, and yes, all of the cosmetics will be available to free-to-play, but it'll be through a, a gem system. So gems will be involved, but they will be obtainable by free-to-play instead of fully gated like they are right now. That is part of that new system. That's a good thing to touch on. One sec. Uh, Find a new question. I, I have someone on my door. Uh. Oh, let me do the little. I wasn't uh, looking I've been, I've been question, sending though. a lot of two speak. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm reading. I'm reading. Speak I'm speak uh, the I want to answer uh. the little like uh, faction animation versus crown level thing. So we just ended up not having time to do this, but we actually want to add the. We want to actually have animations that play in the post game lobby, for not only when you level up your faction, but also for your battle pass or increasing your crown level or completing a badge, things like that. Like we want to have little pop up animations. Uh, for that that happened so we do want to like bring that back and make it cool it's just we didn't have time to fit that in because it was kind of low priority and this season was uh it was very big as i'm sure you guys uh know so it was something that got dropped but it is something that we'll add back and um make the like post game experience more exciting again yeah and i guess to sort of like answer the question about like why did you I've seen it asked a lot, at least. It's just like, why did you swap that little slot in the action bar from the faction to the crown? Um, and I know we've answered this in a few places before, but the kind of main goal of it was we wanted to put like front and center something that just showed how good you were at the whole of MCC Island, really. And we didn't really have anything like that before. Because the problem with like the faction system was that people would swap to like, you know, level up multiple factions. So you could see someone who was like level one at something and you wouldn't know that they've got like hundreds and hundreds of hours in, in the server. Because your main metrics of that are, of course, your badges and your cosmetics. So that wasn't really highlighted with the faction system. And we wanted to make sure the system that people got to show off about, you know, how much time they put in was the one that we highlighted. And we want to do more with the faction system in the future. Um, and make that more of an exciting system, but currently it's not there yet, which is why we kind of feel like we want to hide it a little bit more than the crown level. Yeah, and that kind of touches on as well. I just saw a question scroll past about like prestiging being worth less now for factions. And that's also part of the same goal to like move the faction system so it's more of a like loyalty to one faction kind of thing which is kind of what we wanted with like you know ties in with the event as well you know you pick a faction you like the people you like play on it you know you like the you know the, the animals or the color and you pick that 
Um, whereas like it's a sort of old system was just prioritizing you just swapping about just no really loyalty the to the yeah. to, to your animal <laughs> and, and we want that loyalty like the goal of the faction system to have that like loyalty and identity isn't something we've really built into the current system but it is our goal for the future which is why we've like made this change now it's kind of the first step in that process and as we continue to add layers to the faction system in the future whenever that may be um hopefully that goal of loyalty makes a little more sense. I can see a lot of people talking about uh, asking questions about housing system. Uh, that yes, that was originally like in the closed beta, but it's not currently a priority simply because it doesn't make sense yet to add to the server. Yeah, we have much. But there may be a time in future where it makes more sense. We have much more important things, in our opinion, to create first. But it's certainly still a thing we want to do. Time is yeah. right. Adding in the housing system now, like right now, it'd be kind of lame um, and limited. So, yeah. That's a good question there for you, Chase, as well. Which um, will there be any more changes to the economy? For example, removing silver again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, there no. will always there will always be economy changes, but I hope that this last update put it in a place where they won't be major. They won't be anywhere near the size of what we've seen. Um, but just the nature of the economy is we have to make little tweaks to make sure things work or add things to, you know, expand the progression or solve problems that pop up after months and months and months of play. It's very difficult to know. Um, what's best for the economy until you test it. And even if you test it like in a closed setting, you don't get all the information. The only real way to test it is to let it play out on the server. So it, changes are just a part of what an economy is, but I really hope that the structure of the economy that we've kind of like set into stone for season four is pretty representative of what it'll look like going forward. And there won't be any massive changes because we are very happy with um, what it is now and how it's played out. Uh, I'm really happy yes. with it. So, yeah, it's been like no a number of silver. overhauls. Yeah, like there's been a number of overhauls, and at this point, it's now just like it, there's always going to be minor improvements. Yeah, yeah but the, the overhaul, added. yeah, each overhaul got us closer to this point, and this is a really strong point. And while there might be changes in the future, there hopefully won't be another overhaul. Yeah. Yeah, and I think one of the like biggest things that I've felt about the season four update. Um, was that it just the economy just feels like way better now? I mean, I know obviously I'm here blowing our own trumpet, but like <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people can agree as well that it's in a, it's in a very good state right now. Yeah, and we're not adding player trading um, probably ever, but who knows? Yeah, I think so that's I something would, neither I me expect that. <laughs> yeah, neither me interested in coding it, nor Chase interested in balancing it. It would be a lot of work, but it like maybe it doesn't make sense with the content that we have. Yeah, it really, yeah, yeah. really doesn't. It really doesn't make sense what we've got. So that's kind of why I put it as a maybe. Like if we added systems where it made sense to have trading for those systems, like maybe a housing system. Yeah, exactly. Maybe it would make sense for like a housing furniture. system, but it does not make sense for what we have right now. So I, I just, I don't see it as a possibility. But I yeah. guess technically it could come in the future. Any plans to update prices on the main store page to include sales tax? I'm pretty sure it does. Just I'm pretty sure it's region. included sales tax yeah. since like a year ago. I think it, I think it depends on the region as well. But maybe it's global. What? What? No. What? This was like an issue a year ago that we. Fit. I don't believe this. If you if you're if you're seeing it not including VPN. sales tax, yeah. just drop us a <laughs> drop us a message on support yeah. or contact or support. It, sh it shouldn't be doing that. It should be showing well, it's not sales tax VAT if you're in the UK. Anyway, um... well, there's a good question there about will the tutorial screens from event ever come to Ireland, and I think. I mean, Daniel isn't here to answer this mainly, but the thing about those tutorial screens is they are very, um, uh, I guess they use a lot of magic that is not 
<laughs> is not safe to put in the in the whole in the whole server for for everyone. Um, I also don't know, think we necessarily want that before every game. Yeah, to be honest. yeah. It's, it's cool for event because you do it once, but I don't really think you would. You'd get tired like after seeing it the like hundredth time for the game you've played a million times. Inkworth wants the crate machine back. Does anyone else agree? Oh yeah, there's been lots of comments about this. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind bringing it back somewhere, like the model, putting the model somewhere in the hub or something. But um, there were a lot of reasons why it, it didn't work in the economy, and that's why it was removed. <laughs> but um, I mean, if you if you want your friend back, maybe we can look into putting it somewhere in the. Yeah, hub. it was like the best model animation sound mixture that we've oh, ever yeah. made. It was it was brilliant. I loved it. It was very difficult to axe it. I uh, I cry at night, but it did have to happen. Uh, who, someone asked like a really good, oh, I've missed it. I've missed it. I've forgotten it. Someone asked a really good question. Hey, the person that asked the really good question earlier, can you ask it again? <laughs> what was it about? Because I, it might be in the team speak that I have been tracking. I don't, I don't remember. Well, that's not helpful. Just, I remember looking at the comment and being like, damn, that's a good question. I'll remember that. And I didn't remember it. I'm ill. I've got flu. Oh, there's, a, there's a fun oh, question for you there, Isaac, that's just come past. What was the thought process behind the heavy crossbow? Uh, okay. Uh, was that an attack? Oh, man. I don't no, know. I, I think it's a genuine no, question. No, it wasn't. It's, it's tricky to remember. We, we certainly wanted to have a way of balancing crossbows better because uh, having them off-handed makes them really useful with uh, your melee weapons. But then using it in that way is more for close range, yet we still want crossbows to be used for long range purpose. Um, it, was, it, it was initially a good balancing opportunity to allow us to use crossbows more varied in a battle box. And then we were trying to get it so it could work in sky battle as well, but that didn't seem to be such a good idea so yeah generally it was made to allow more balance in battle box and yeah that's where it is it's uh it's also cool to just have new weapons oh, there's a lot of questions that sort of follow the same format of will there be more rewards for this will there be more rewards for this um, complicated questions to answer. <laughs> yeah, I, I, a couple I see here it's, that I want to do. Uh, it's like I, I, I don't know. Like I don't know. I don't think we should answer them because I don't want to disappoint people. Like you know, like everyone keep, it seems to ask about different systems, and it's like you know, if we had ten different people working on. Each system individually, uh, uh, I don't know. I guess each system would then be extended, yeah. Individually, yes. Yeah, it is a matter of priorities at the end of the but, day. Yeah, someone's going to dis dis be disappointed, and someone's not going to be. I just want to talk about the coin usage question. I think it's a good one. Um, so yeah, in this economy shift, we made it so coins are really only used for cosmetics. You actually you can use them to buy chroma packs now too over in uh, the Splinter Supply Shop. So they do have those two uses, but um, that was very intentional to. Most of these economy changes, kind of, the goal of them was to make it so new players have a much easier time understanding what they should do with the things that they have in the economy. And I like removing a lot of that decision paralysis. And coins may absolutely have more uses in the future. I don't necessarily know, know what those will look like. Um, maybe for something like furniture, maybe coins might be interacting with that system. It's really hard to say. So it's not necessarily that they'll only ever be used for cosmetics, but I do. The, the purpose of that change is really good and is going to stay that way. I don't want them to be used to purchase consumables because that gives the players a lot of decision bleh, gives players a lot of decision paralysis. They don't really know what the best thing for them to do with them is, and that can lead to a lot of like confusion and frustration. All right, that was a real good question. 
Do, what, do I want to move on to this question? Yeah, yeah. go on. Yeah? You've hyped oh. us up now. Why not? Oh, what? What a question. That's an amazing question. <laughs> do you guys ever have plans to release a persistent game mode with its own progression system? Well. Wow. <laughs> yeah, sky, sky, sky block. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I'd like that very much. Yes, we do. Chase, over to you. Wow, thank you. All right. So yeah, um, the idea of exploring persistent systems on island is something we've always wanted to do, and I'm very excited to announce that we are doing it. That is what you'll actually see next on island. We are it's releasing not sky a block. It's, <laughs> we are releasing a fishing system. Yeah. Um, fishing! It's coming. It's arriving. It's going to be our first persistent game. So persistent games are you know, your progress is saved between sessions. You can log in, log out. It's just one experience that you can pour time into. Um, it's going to be a really deep system with a lot to do. There's a lot more to it than just catching fish. Um, and it will exist not on the main island, but actually like on its own little mini game area like it'll have its own hub in that sense it'll be a, a different world so it is its own it's, it's its own system its own experience uh it's gonna be a solo experience so it's not like you're not gonna be competing against other players but you'll still see other players be able to interact with them um but yeah it's not competitive it's just your own personal progression um so it's a very casual experience that you can just have a good time with whenever you want to break from the mini games and you just want to go do something else uh that's the that's the hole we want it to uh fill and wait are people yeah cool yeah no go ahead wait people are actually excited for the fishing system guys <laughs> yeah right they're excited about fishing i've been saying like, this for months what look at how much hype there is i Crazy. know i said this ages ago and you all didn't believe me oh so i guess yeah. no one wants ace race uh, all right that's good <laughs> uh so, I, I made that joke because somewhat there's one person that keeps saying Ace Race. I've seen their name like four times asking Ace of Spades, funnily enough, asking about Ace Race. Do you want a fishing system or do you want Ace Race? <laughs> I mean, I think they both they want both, but yeah. You, know. you don't get to choose. It's it's fishing. That's what's coming next. But you can. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you there's can a big. Um, in the chat. Obviously, there's kind of like a, a large reason to why. We want to make the fishing system next. Um, Chase, I mean, you can talk about that. Yeah. The... Yeah. I mean, we, we'd very much like to dip our toe into the water of persistent games because we feel it's something that would be very, uh, very good for Island. Um, I play Island a lot, and I will say that I'd very much love to be able to do something else sometimes. If I don't want to play the mini games, it'd be nice to just kind of have a different type of experience. It's much more casual. Um, and is solo, you know, it's not competitive. Um, but these games are still going to be tied into the server progression and the main economy, um, which is the really exciting part about it. So you can progress through playing the games or by playing things like fishing. Um, fishing is going to have its own type of trophies that we're adding called angler trophies. It's actually going to introduce two types of trophies, but we won't talk about the other one yet. Um, so your crown level will be progressed through fishing. Uh, you'll be able to earn cosmetics that are exclusive to the fishing system. Those will be worth style trophies. Uh, fishing is going to earn you island XP, meaning you can progress things like your daily meter, your battle pass, and your faction, even if the only thing you want to do is fish. Um, and you'll also be able to earn, you know, like coins and silver and cores through the whole fishing system. But obviously fishing has its, all of its own uh, economy and its own progression system and all of the stuff that is exclusively progressed through fishing that has to do with fishing. It just also ties back in with the main economy. Um, but yeah, it'll just be another thing for you to do on island. And hopefully also yeah. like a way to get people who, you know, I, I, I am quite bad at a lot of the mini games and having something that is a bit more casual and a bit more chill to do is very exciting to me, but I'm sure there are other people out there that feel the same. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's like, to... uh, Go ahead. Yeah. it's probably like the first thing. Thing that we're going to be releasing on an island that will only require half of your attention. Yeah. So the other half can, like, you know, you can catch up on those TV shows that keep bloody coming out. 
Yeah, there's a lot of strategy <laughs> to the fishing experience, but not skill. It is not a skill-based game. There's a lot of different choices and decisions and reasons why you do certain things or other things, but there's no, like, it's not a skillful thing, obviously. It is something that you can just kind of um, sit back, relax, and do. Um, yeah, something that you can, you know, you can be doing other things and have it open on the side so that, yeah. you know, you can still feel like you're you're playing whilst doing something else, be it... Obviously, not that we'd encourage it, homework or, you know, other things on the side. Yeah, I might exactly. be sitting there coding the next update and, and having the fishing on the side as yeah, well. Doing your exams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your exactly. Up on the side. Yeah. And you will be able to fish as much as you want every day. There's no, like, cap to how much you can fish. Just, you can fish. There will be similar systems to how, like, we have daily quests and those caps. So there'll be, like, your progression at certain points in the day might be more valuable than others, but you can just infinitely fish. That will absolutely be a thing you can do. If you want to come on the server and only fish for eight hours straight or however long, you can. That's 100% a thing you'll be able to do. Yeah, and, you know, although obviously me being a big connoisseur of fishing mini games, it's not going to be something that, I know you said it doesn't require skill already, but, like, it really won't. Like, we're not introducing a, like, Stardew Valley fishing mini game. Um, it's going to be easy something that's it's that's, that's as like as casting a rod and catching a fish all of the complexity of the system will come in like the progression surrounding it not in the actual like, yeah yeah mechanic what do you mean not stardew fishing oh man what do you mean i hate the stardew <laughs> fishing I, I system i love that that's <laughs> the best one what are you talking about i hate it why Oh, the best ones, clearly. Like, we think Animal Crossing, right? That style of, like, fishing where you... I mean, not even Animal Crossing, because even Animal yeah, Crossing has some literally, skill. Literally, there really is skill to that. There is yeah, really... Yeah. It's just Minecraft Hades. fishing, guys. Hades is probably be. about as simple yeah. as you want to get. That's true. Hades is a good example. If, if you like Stardew Valley fishing... You should go and play Dredge because that's probably oh the Dredge most fun so fishing play Dredge. If you have not played Dredge, the most fun play fishing Dredge. game ever. Or if you like Stardew Valley fishing system, go play Stardew then. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend that as <laughs> yeah, much as Dredge. We kind of want people Definitely to play our service step. We want people to play our thing, not theirs. Yeah, and that's yeah. a good question that's just gone by. Um, will fishing be required to progress on island? Um, and like, I think nothing is ever like required. You yeah, can do what you want on island. Yeah, basically. like it's going to have its gonna... own. It's going to have yeah, its own it's not like you're required of, uh... to play island. Yeah, yeah it's going to have yeah. its own unique type of trophies, right? So if you're someone who cares about maxing your crown level or just however you want to view the server, then it is required in that sense. But it's like it's not required by any means. It's going to have its own exclusive cosmetics to have unlocked. It's going to have its own exclusive trophies. But like, I mean, fishing isn't going to be. It's not going to make you better at the games. You know, there's not like a progression between those two things. So it isn't required in any sense. It's very much just a thing you can choose to do on island. Uh, fishing trophies, it'll scale over time, but they'll probably be pretty similar to like, eventually it'll probably be pretty similar to like games. Like how many trophies you get from fishing will be comparable to how many trophies there are total from games. Yeah, like I think the goal with new trophy types is generally that they'll be like pretty evenly split. So yeah. that, you know, you're not benefited in terms of maxing your crown level by doing one thing over another. That's the, the goal of the system, really. Yeah, like, obviously, you you'll, be, you'll be benefited from doing exactly. all of it, you know. Uh, yes, ranks will include... Um, yeah, absolutely. Ranks will have lots posi of fishing Positives perks. towards your fishing experience. Yeah, perks. But I presume it's available to everyone. It's fishing isn't like yeah. Fish fishing is a fully free to play thing. Anyone can go play it. Uh, there's no aspects of what, like. What do you mean no? Get, this is a free to play server. Go somewhere else. Go buy a game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, ranks are going to help you out with lots of uh, parts of it. Again, it's a solo experience, right? So there's no competition. What do you want players. us to do? Are we going to piss off the people who bought ranks? I'm <laughs> sick of this. Uh, not not spending money is not going to hurt you. Just spending money will help you. That's how it yeah, works. Yeah, you'll still have a nice time fishing. You'll still have a nice time fishing if you don't spend money. You'll just have more perks available to you if you do. That's how it works. Well, look, look. Oh, <laughs> I'm not actually angry at you. This is my humor. Get used to it. Um, but it's the it's the most complicated thing in the world, you know? Like, you release something, 
the people with ranks complain that they're not getting anything and the people who don't pay for money without ranks complain that they have to pay money to get the thing that the ranked people play get yeah, it's, 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 it's a like what are you thing. what are you meant to do you know, you know? this is a free-to-play experience uh it means we have to monetize it somehow and so our main goal is just like so a free-to-play player does not have a bad experience and that someone who spends money has a better experience because that's the purpose of spending money but we never want to like you know we never want to like hurt the free-to-play player we just want to give benefits to the people who support us because that's how we monetize yeah. and continue to make more island no chase i've changed my mind i'm angry yeah. now yeah okay we're, we're paywalling fishing no no we're not ten dollar no. entrance it's a joke it's a joke <laughs> Or not pay well. Yeah, and I saw I saw a good a good question actually, yeah. which I think kind of like touches on that, where someone said, um, "Why don't you make it so that cosmetics that give trophies towards crowns are not locked behind paywalls?" And I, I want to say that is actually the case. Like, yeah, there is only one example that... where that's not the case right now, which is Game Pass cosmetics, and that is because that system is changing. Or like, yeah, yeah, take, take soon with whatever grain of salt you want. It is on our list to do. Um, so yeah, those so like, eventually will also be free to play. Yeah, so nothing will, you know, there'll never be something where, like, you know, you drop some money and then you just, you know, you get fresh access to some trophies that no one else can get access to. Um, um, just to just to kind of add, I, I don't know, I feel like this is an obvious one, but for the people who actually um, spend money on our web store, they're the people who help us keep the server alive for the people who don't. Right, so we need to make sure that we're... So thank you, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and we will continue to add new things to the ranks, right? But that is and the, new things to plus but, as well, so... But also, thank you to everyone who just comes and plays. Even if you don't spend. Like, just being a player, we appreciate it. We love you guys. We do. Anyway. <laughs> Yes, people who bought ranks will get perks that will inc will improve their fishing experience. There was the answer to that question. Uh, oh, that's an interesting question. Will the fishing game necessarily have a true end to it? Be technically something you can do infinitely. It it will have a very very difficult to reach true end. Like I guess technically you might get there eventually, but um. It'll be very difficult to max that system, I guess you could say. And we also will continue to add content to it over time, so it will. Yeah, consistently. Um, that that will. Um, no, expand. if it if if you like it, if people like it, yeah, we'll expand. Oh it. yeah, yeah. If people like it, that is true. Like if <laughs> yeah, if no one likes it and no one. Yeah, we're not going to keep putting work into it doing? if no one likes it. That's that's very true. Assuming people like it, we will continue to add stuff to it. Um. Good question there but as well. Yeah, we'll will will hole in the wall fishing have anything to do with the new fishing <laughs> in the game? The answer is no, no. They're separate. They're very separate. They are. Uh, I didn't even know that hole in the wall fishing got added to season four until someone told me like a week after. And I mean, the fishing system was already uh, being worked on uh, before that, so I didn't even realize that was a thing. Which is pretty funny <laughs> we, that we, we added fishing little, little to the island egg. already. <laughs> it was in uh, Sky Battle as well, fishing. Yeah, you're, true. You're over. Someone like reported that they were able to like fish in a sky battle pond and actually get. Did you? You would. Well, no, they, 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 it was a it? joke. I think it was a joke report. They claimed that you, they managed to fish out a diamond sword or something. Oh no, that's not in the fishing the table. But no, seven. Did you see what Daniel added? Like he added an actual fishing system to hole in the wall, where you catch. Yeah, 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 fish, yeah, fish yeah. have like stats. Okay, it's yeah. funny. Yeah, there's another someone said there like hole in the wall fishing has been there since closed beta. Like the fishing part, yes, but the fun the additional kitchen, part we yeah. added to it that yeah. was new for season four. Yeah, yeah, go check out the um one of the hole in the wall dojo Discord server. They have like a channel where they log all the fishes that they catch. So that's that's fun. If you're in, into that already, you want to get a you know can't wait until we 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 drop the fishing update. You can always go there. <laughs> <laughs> will there ever be an issue with large fishing causing decrease in fish populations and causing a shortage <laughs> uh no you will never disrupt the fishing supply lines ellen unless we change our minds yeah there that will be no hilarious. there will be no overfishing on island 
Sorry, that would sorry, actually be just, hilarious. Uh, because magic or um, futuristic te technology, that is uh, your choice. Yeah. No, we whatever have you, to teach you people believe. how the world works. You need to be... Right, yeah, that is, um, that is true. Yeah, we're actually... Actually, every time you catch a fish, we're going to send you a little pop-up that reminds you how sensitive fishing in the real world is. <laughs> and, uh, and there will be no fireflies. Spread, Zero spread fireflies, awareness. guys. No fireflies. Um, fishing games won't necessarily... And then, yeah. and then we'll introduce bee farming and then teach people about that. <laughs> the extinction bee of farming. bees. Bee farming. bee farming, yeah, that's the next system coming. Um, fishing games won't necessarily interact with parties or lobbies in any interesting ways because you won't be able to make private lobbies for fishing. No, that doesn't... There's no reason why you would want to do that. Uh, and the same for parties. Like You can be in a party, obviously, mm -hmm. and fish. There's just not going to be any advantages to doing so or any reason why you would. Yeah. yeah, but what if I don't want someone to see me fishing, Chase? Well, I guess you have to find a good hiding spot then and just kind of fish from there. All right, we, um, we're going to call this Q&A in about three minutes. So we should oh, probably yeah, we try should probably and answer the that. last yeah. question or two. The, the big one... That's obviously being thrown around. Is when is fishing Michael coming? Michael what the hell are you doing in our chat? Uh, <laughs> fishing, When's fishing coming? Isn't that fishing um, is coming on Saturday? Yeah, on Saturday. I'm joking. It's jokes. Fishing is coming uh, early this summer, so you'll you can expect to see it out pretty soon. It'll be the next update that we do, but uh, we'll keep you guys updated as uh, as things continue to progress. Yeah, we'll yeah you'll definitely you'll stuff. definitely see it before season five. It'll be again early this summer, so soon. There will be lots of very cool and very difficult fish to catch. Yes, there will be lots of like uh, moments. And yeah, I guess any other updates besides fishing, fishing will come with like one or two other small things as well, um, which I guess we won't talk any more about. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's some other stuff coming with that as well. That is true. There, again, there is a lot to the fishing system. There is a lot of like. It is it is a fishing system where you catch fish, but there's a lot of other content surrounding that as well. It isn't just fishing. All right. All right. I'm looking for like a funny question. <laughs> Last question. Can we yeah. assassinate the king rat? Yeah, we could no. address the rising crime on MC Island. <laughs> What? Look, we're still we're still investigating what's going on with that. Yeah, we don't know what happened with the Mythic Gate. Like, I didn't realize wow. that the I didn't realize that network could be compromised. Like, I didn't. I, know, I don't really weird. know where the Mythic Gate goes. I don't know what Those, it's connected to. The fashion so. elves are furious, and we are working really hard to like manage the situation. You know what? Yeah. That is, is the real. Is. That is the real question over there. What happened to the yellow creatures? That's the oh, real yeah. question. Did we what? hunt I mean, them they, to extinction? Still on their island. Exactly. Yeah, no one old enough to remember that. I missed the net. I reckon oh, they're fun. planning something very exciting. Oh, been, have they gone underground and hanging on, on their little something? island? Or? I reckon. I reckon they're planning something. What if the yellow creatures are now fish? All right, cool. Cool. Well, we'll wrap this up. Cool. Uh, we have recorded this, so this will be going out on the forums probably tomorrow once I get it uh, uploaded. So, yay. Um, if you have any more questions or anything, just go over to the forums, ask them there. We will address them in due time. Uh, thank you, everyone, for hanging out with us. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you Thanks all. See you soon. Bye. Fish you soon. Fishy Fish soon. soon. No, that I can't believe you repeated that. That was an awful. I was trying to I think of a pun. I love it. I love it. I wasn't I love quick it. enough to think. Come on, of a the pun, pun is I'm catch making, you later. Was catch awful. you later. Catch you later oh, catch was you there. Later. It was oh, there. Damn it. Fishy soon come from. Wow, that was awful. Love catch it. you later, guys. <laughs>